Super Pets. Oh, man. Okay. So, just a big reminder. Uh, it's a good movie. But, there are some stuff in here, like adult jokes, that I definitely got, for sure. But, uh, there's, um, some, how would I put this? A little bit of censorship. I'll tell you that much. Um, so, but aside from that, uh, it's a very interesting movie the about these pets really trying to well the other pets trying to work together along with crypto uh, of course crypto not being the most social open-minded humble dog but over this movie he does learn or he, he does try to learn how to work as a team oh yeah and these superheroes um it's a little different. Uh, it has like one of the more somewhat common Justice League members in it. Cause I think the only one's different is there's a girl, Green Lantern, and a more Afro-y uh, cyborg. And you do kind of follow the story of like these pets who. Uh, got these powers and they're trying to learn how to use them uh yeah also interesting but i think the most confusing one is the one hit dog voiced by kevin hart i forgot his name but he uh his power is like being invulnerable but at the same time like he can still so you could you could see that he feels the pain but he's not injured by it like it's, it's weird. Uh, everyone else says, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but it's... So, but the villain... I guess the whole antagonist... Thing is... Weird. Um, and you also have, like... There's, like, certain scenes where, like, I got so thrown off, like... I thought the owners would under, like understood the pets for a moment, or at least Superman understood what Crypto was saying for a moment. But no, they're, they're still regular pets. So, but they that's what they kind of want you to think in the kids' movies. Like they want you to think that they're that the humans somewhat understand what the pets are saying, but no, they're they're just saying like squeak squeak or bark bark or whatever. Um, and the creature villain, I did not know what it was at first, because it's so freaking... It's different looking. But then they explained it in the movie, I'm like, oh, that's awful. Um, yeah. Oh! So there's a kind of like weird little mid credit scene, and there's a post credit scene. The post credit scene, you definitely need to watch. Uh, it relates to another DC film coming out later this year. Uh, just saying. Uh, yeah. I will give this movie, uh, maybe a three out of five. Yeah, it's, uh, when you watch the movie, you'll kind of understand why I give it a rating, but, like, like, I still enjoyed it, but... It wasn't like the most exciting thing I've watched in the midst of these movie reviews I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the Super Pets movie. If you guys give it, or sorry, if you guys liked it, the movie review, give it a like. Uh, comment out what you guys think of the movie if you've seen it already. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so, and click on that bell so you guys want to end my videos when they come on my channel. And the next movie review I'm doing is for Easter Sunday. It's a Joel Coy movie, but um, they have actors playing his family members. So um, it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, so look out for that. And until next time, peace, guys.